Well, Brewberries, looks like we're in season two of Brew and Build. That is correct. You heard me. Welcome on back and so sorry for my absence. I have had quite a bit going on in the past couple of months, and I hope that you can forgive me for being kind of just gone for like two and two months, two and a half months, whatever it's been. It's been a while, and I am so sorry about that. But look, we're back and... Looky here, we have our texture pack all back on. Now, some of you may be wondering, what in the world do you mean by season two? Well, firstly, I think we should do our rounds here to see what exactly we're working with in terms of a starting area. Looks like we have a nice monument there, underwater monument doohickey. I think that's really cool. So the first thing I wanted to do was give a brief introduction as to why we're doing a season two or what exactly this season two means so what we're going to do is just i'm just going to go through and do a little bit of the early game grind and speak to you about some stuff so this is season two in a brand new world and it's going to be focused on island building for the first bit of it uh this is we're going to be focused on island building until we get into the holiday update where all of the terrain generation stuff for the caves and cliffs actually gets put into the game. And we'll get a bit more into this uh, a little bit later, but that's why we're starting it currently on an island. Uh, and one thing I initially didn't even think about is we need to find some coal right quick to light this area up because this is going to be a very dangerous place if we don't have a bed because we don't have sheep anywhere near us, I bet. And so that's uh, going to be a problem. And so I'm going to get into an explanation about kind of what this season two is going to be getting into um, in a little bit. But let's jump in first at kind of get our bearings. Oh, hey, piggy. OK, cool. Well, we have a pig. Let's hope. Oh, and a cow. Sick. Maybe there are sheep on here. I don't think so uh, some of you at the beginning you may have seen that i put in a seed that seed was purely to get me started on an island i did some random seed generation just to find a good island start and i landed on this one it's got a decent kind of spawn area where you just i just randomly spawned in saw that i was on an island and that's all i've actually looked at for this seed so I really have no idea what the surrounding context is. I just know what the general layout is, and there is quite a bit of island action going on right near us, which is going to be great. And this island is actually pretty decent size. So I really wanted us to start on a good sized island instead of starting on like one of those teeny tiny binky ones like that guy. Um, and you can see I also do have the preview of Optifine installed. Ooh, we'll have to explore that later. And so that, yeah, this is a really nice starting island. Oh, man, I really forgot how slow it is. Oh, and we have a freaking wolf here. Dude, that's awesome. I didn't even know that. That's really cool. Um, I, I really didn't know what this island was going to be like, but it looks like we've got all sorts of goodies here. So we've got a, a general lay of the land. We've got a good sized island, as we can see kind of right here. It's like a decent size. So like, we'll, we're going to definitely be building all over this place. I have quite the plan. I, ha I have done kind of like a bird's eye view concept sketch of the end product that I would like to go for for this island. And I think it's going to be really, really cool. And so I did ha do have a kind of an initial idea as to like what we're working with here but the surrounding island area i haven't really looked at so we have a ship that's over there we've got quite a few squiddies any glow squids is that another ship oh cool we got a ship over there looks like we've got a decent sized island over there maybe we could do another like shipwreck island build or something like that over there that'd be really cool and then got some glaciers over here anything else oh what's that Oh, we got another. Didn't, wasn't there another portal on the other side, too? So there's one there. Yeah, yeah, there is one. Oh, and there's a chest. Ooh, we will have to go down there and check. 
Now, uh, this is not hardcore or anything like that. And for any of you who are curious about hardcore, that is going to be continuing. We're going to be focusing on Bruinville just because we're starting a new. Um, but hardcore will be continuing. I'm just going to maybe slow the pace a bit of it uh, because I kind of got into something there and then had to take the break. It was uh, the break for any of you who are wondering. The main break reason was because of work. Work was taking over my life and just really getting busy. Uh, and so I wanted to just take a moment, slow down and to focus on that because that is IRL. That's actually like my income. So definitely takes priority over everything uh, that is our YouTube channel, sadly, but it's OK. So now let's go ahead and get into I want to chop some more of these trees down. I guess I could probably make an axe and stuff. I'm just going to be doing starter days type of things. Day one Minecraft stuff, nothing too particularly fancy. Today, we're going to be focusing on getting a starter house built. It's going to be a very temporary starter house because uh, we don't necessarily want to build in there. Well, we can't build in the style that I want to, um, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. Where do we want to put this starter house? Maybe what we do, let's first grab these. Is that the sound of the monument? Was that a monument sound or something? Because that was really weird. Uh, regardless, let's go. Ooh, nice. The new coal. I love the new ore textures for any of you who are curious. None of the textures, I think, really need to be changed uh, in the in the update. Oh, good. We have cave access stuff, too. Ooh, OK, I think I'm going to make the starter house maybe over here because I think this will work fine. It's going to be a real tiny little starter house, so nothing too crazy. We can just kind of set up shop right here. All right, so first things first that I think we do actually need to get into right quick is actually not going for killing our animals because of the fact that we don't have many of them here. We need to use them for breeding. So we need to get into actually a little bit of farming and this farm is probably going to move anyways. So let's put it down here by the water will be easiest. Well, my first inclination is not to start a weed farm right off the bat, but I really don't want to kill these animals because I want to put them into pens and it's also getting dark. So I'm probably going to have to do some form of waiting in a hidey hole to make the darkness go away because uh, ain't no way that we can really survive at night, I bet. Ooh, we should definitely grow that sugar cane as well. Ooh, man, starter day Minecraft stuff. I am so, I love this part of Minecraft. I think that is one thing that I have learned from the hardcore world is that I really love the beginning portions of Minecraft. I think it's so fun to be doing this. And hello, chicken, I know. I'm gonna breed you out the wazoo, but not right now, not right now. I know you're wandering around because I have the seeds, but these aren't for you for you you don't need them oh gosh we have a texture pack problem <laughs> oh no i thought i fixed it okay that's fine get out of here no sheesh all right so let's go ahead let's put these guys and then get into a hidey hole oh okay after some uh a little bit AFKing, making sure that we don't, you know, just absolutely get wrecked. I also did a little bit of texture changing just to see if the texture issues with the zombie could be fixed. I think I fixed them. I think I had an old file that's in there. Uh, for any of you who are curious about the texture pack, just if you haven't seen Bruin Build or anything, we do play with this texture pack. Uh, it is available via my Patreon, um, and you can find the download link there. Um, you have to be a tier two sub or whatever it is, uh, to whatever it's called um, on the Patreon. Then you have full access to the texture pack and you can go nuts and stuff. Obviously, just don't uh, copy and share and all that stuff um, where, you know, you know what to do. Just be nice about it. And for any of you speaking about texture pack stuff, for any of you who would like to uh, just have more texture pack updates, I am getting back into it. I've been I held off because I was wanting to just make it a Bruin build thing. Hardcore world does not need it. So I wanted to make it a Bruin build official. And uh, so we now have Bruin build back. And so I, I'm going to be continuing work on it. And I'm actually really excited because I've been holding off and like biting my tongue working on it just because I need to play the game in order to, you know, see it in the game. And so I've been holding off and now I'm really, really excited. But let's get into some more day one stuffs. All right. So we have 
loads of iron right here, which is actually really stellar. Let's go ahead and get some stone so we can get some good old fashioned pickaxe action going on. Real excited about that. Now, some of you may be wondering, just kind of wanting, I guess, maybe not even wondering, just wanting an explanation about season two, what's going to be happening with it. Why are we doing a season two instead of sticking to the old brew and build world? And I want to be able to answer that for you. So first things first, why a season two? Ooh, I do enjoy. I forgot that this was it kind of looks like chicken. Bizarre. Maybe I'll change that texture. I don't know how else to change it, but um, that's interesting. Ooh, bones. I want the bones. Um, I forgot that they they made it so you got like iron or what are these? What is this called? Just raw iron. I forgot you got raw iron from this. That's awesome. Real looking forward to that. That's really cool. So season two, why are we doing it? Well, season two is happening because of a few different things. But the primary thing was I was actually initially planning on doing a season two um right when they announced uh all the new features and stuff that's a texture issue i will fix um it was announced like they announced all the changes that were going to be happening um from a scary place um they announced all the stuff that's going to be happening with like the uh terrain generation changes and my first initial thought was, all right, well, this is we we cannot continue in our world, not because they're not going to make it so you can't, but because the terrain was going to change so, so much that I was just like, I, it's just better to start over. I want to experience the caves and cliffs, um, new content from a survival perspective at like a day one. Um, and so because of that, I was like fully committed to just starting a new world when the new caves and cliffs uh, with the new terrain generation came out. Then they threw the kind of the curveball of, hey, you know what? We're not actually going to be able to do this because we want to do it right, which hats off to them because that was definitely the move. Like, I think it's far better to put out a good, good, like update than to put out something that is going to be half polished and they'll have to like fix it over time. Uh, I would much rather wait than to get a kind of meh type of update. Now, I know some of you may be thinking this is also a meh update because we didn't get the stuff. Well, I think this is a really cool update. So like, there's a lot of cool stuff in it, and I am fully in support of the splitting of it. I think this like we still got a ton of stuff in this. If you think about it, there's tons of new blocks to play around with and new farms to make and things like that. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. I think it's uh, it's going to be a really fun time. So the world generation changes was actually the initial thing that was like the the initial push for me to be like, OK, we're going to just do a season two and start over. And then because they all changed it up, I was like, ah, maybe we just do like a midterm type of thing where we do like brew and build island. Ooh, girl, looky there. I like that ore texture. That is really nice. I I love the new textures that Joppa puts out. I think they are so, so good. This is stellar. Look at this. Ooh, what does it look like? Oh, and you get multiple copper from just, oh my gosh. You're going to get so much. I don't even have fortune or anything on this. Dude. And each one of these, I imagine, breaks into one, into like one ingot. Wow. That's awesome. I love it. So that's why I initially was thinking about it. But then I was thinking, let's do an interim type of thing where we like do a an a island edition Bruin build where it's just a six month before the holiday update type of thing. And then we'll actually freshly start over. But then, you know, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, I, I don't really want to start a world knowing that I'm just going to end it anyways. Ooh, there's more to this cave because of the zombie. But I do not know where it is. So we'll not go looking. Uh, and so I didn't want to, you know, give up the world in a sense. Like I, I already am giving up season one. Why am I going to give up season two, like interim edition? Uh, and so I decided, you know what? The island edition may actually be a really great way of addressing this because with the island concept, my biggest fear with the Bruin build season one being transferred over was having a ton uh dealing with a ton of the sort of terrain issues when you're doing some cutting and stuff of the terrain. Uh, we also are going to need a good amount of diorite. 
build we're going to be doing today. It's not that big of a build, but it's going to be nice, I think. And so I didn't want to deal with the size of our OG Bruin build world because there was just going to have to be a lot of cutting that we did. And honestly, for this, I should be using. Um, and so I just decided we're not going to do that. And this island edition, the reason why it's such a good idea for doing this interim type of thing is we're going to be doing all building and stuff on islands and all that and i'll be able to easily know where the islands are for one because we're going to be sticking primarily around spawn area this island in particular and then there's quite a few islands in the surrounding area that i really want to build on um and so i'm looking forward to that because i can easily trim all the chunks that we've explored because I can just not care about weird chunk borders because it'll be all underwater for the most part. And so that is one reason why, like if it looks weird, then I'll just throw some seagrass down there, throw some kelp and it'll be fully blend in. And I won't be the any the wiser of weird chunk borders. So I am, that's one reason why. That was like the big reason was the terrain generation. I just, I just didn't want to deal with it. And I also really wanted to do the whole survival aspect of like day one minecraft survival let's see what it's like to be in the caves and cliffs update day one i think that is still one thing i'm really looking forward to uh, because i think what we're gonna do when the second update comes out is we are going to then kind of drop all our good gear uh, and transition back to day one start over and i think it's going to be pretty easy because we'll have these islands and then we'll be able to come back and continue building uh, in these islands if we want uh, and i think it's going to be good overall you know i forgot how long this texture took but i am actually pretty happy with how this this front texture actually looks hey zombie you have your other leg oh that's awesome i ooh, okay well i could very well die i uh, there are tons of zombies here Tons of zombies. That's not good. Not. Oh my. Anta. Oh. 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 Piggy, stay away. Oh. Oh dear. Nope. Be gone. Be gone. Please. Please be gone. Please. Ugh. Jeez Louise. Okay, so we definitely need to get wheat so we can get that, get a cow farm started so that we can get some good food. Ow! I'm not here to kill you. Yet. Ah! Okay. Back to day, back to the day one Minecraft stuff. I guess it's day three. This could be it. This could be how we go out. Oh, yes. Don't mess up my crop. You fool! That was the... All right, cool. So we got... I have cows set up now. We have some cows. Uh, this is... Well, one of these is Bertha, and one of these is Bob, and this is Billy. So we got the triple Bs going on, and now we have a good source of food to be able to actually, uh, you know, survive, and uh, hopefully then thrive. But another reason why, outside of the terrain generation, another reason why I wanted to start fresh was just because a good it's good to start fresh. Um, I think what I've learned from us doing the hardcore world and starting that world anew, oh, there's another cow over there, we should go and get that, um, is that a starting new could really help reset your brain, especially. I think in season one's world, I was pretty burnt out on things. I think I had set up some farms and things that kind of just took the fun out of it. And I also think I had too much going on. I think it's good to have multiple projects going on, but I think I was just running into a sort of slump of not tackling projects in a good manner. And I kept going at it in a way that was not really uh, creatively healthy, I guess is what I would say. Uh, and so this world i have a a better idea as to how i want to go about doing these towns i think what i would like to do we're going to do some really big type of awesome concepts but i do think i have a better idea as to how i want to approach them 
Um, and we're not going to be getting into anything big and huge uh, right off the bat, of course, because we need to get uh, you know, all this uh, day one stuff figured out. Um, but I ha that is kind of one one big reason as to why we're not going to be. Jesus, the sun setting again. Mother of Pearl. Um, but that's one reason why we are starting over is just because it's good to start fresh. Now, I'm sure some of you are curious as to what is going to be happening uh, with the season one world. And uh, to that, I say I am planning or thinking about at least having a season one world download. Um, but I think I'm going to limit it to my Discord, which is fully free to join or anything. But I'm thinking I'm going to put the Discord down, the download in the Discord just to give a little bit of limitation. I've seen some peeps have a world download that goes a bit astray just because of, I don't know, things, people not being necessarily grateful or anything like that of being able to just like have access to a free world or something. And it's just a way, it's just a way to kind of protect it a little bit from anybody who doesn't necessarily have the right intent. That, of course, Discord is free, so it's not really that pr protect, it wouldn't be that really protected, but I'm still on the fence on if I'm actually going to do it. Uh, you know what? Let's get some bread potentially so we can tackle the night a bit better. Well, that's not how we want to want things to go, but it's a good thing we're right here. But now there's all sorts of baddies. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Let me get to my stuff. <gasps> Did I have anything else on me? I don't think so. What's down there? Oh. It grows underwater. The the glow lichen stuff. That's really cool. All right, let's kill this dude so that we don't have to, you know, deal with him. Uh, or, or he's gone. I think it's high time that we light this place up so we can uh, actually, you know, get on with our day. And some random final thoughts about season one. Um, as I am waiting for the sun to rise. Oh. How did that happen? Oh, did you jump on the chest? All right, well, that's fine. Um, would you guys like me to do a world tour, a uh, final farewell world tour of that world? I would be more than happy to because, uh, yeah, it would be just kind of entertaining, I think. And let me eat some of this zombie flesh so I can get at least a little bit of hunger back. But I would be more than happy to do a final farewell world tour for any of you who haven't really seen the full Bruin build world. Uh, it is a very cool world. Very, I'm very happy about it and proud of proud of. Are you kidding me? That spider just despawned. I hate life sometimes, man. Sometimes life just wants to kick you in the butt. Oh, God. Mother of Pearl. This is awful. Day one on an island. I can understand why this is like survival island type stuff. This is actually crazy. This is a so much more entertaining start than I've ever had, really. I think this is super silly and fun. But y'all, I think what I'm going to do now is I've kind of got the pleasantries out of the way and all that done a little bit of surviving on camera. I think now what I'd like to do is a bit of a time lapse in preparing, I think, that hill for our starter house build. It's gonna be a real rinky dinky little house that's kind of inspired by Sunfire SG. He did a desert style house and uh, you're gonna get an idea as to what the build style is gonna be. Um, it's gonna not look as good as you may want uh, out of the gate because we don't have a certain resource that we need. Uh, but we will remedy that, remedy that either by the end of the episode if I can find it or uh, by next episode because uh, I definitely want to show you the build style either way um, because uh, yeah I think it'll be it, it's a good way to start the season y'all get to see the concept that we're going to go for so let's go ahead and jump into a time lapse I'm going to keep doing some more surviving and stuff hopefully lighting up more and more of this area tearing down trees and all that just to get a blank slate hello squids no glow squid anywhere that's okay Ooh. so without further ado let's get into a time lapse and just start building and surviving 
All right, for this time lapse, I decided I'm gonna do a little bit of voiceover here to just give you guys a little bit of an explanation about season two, what we're doing, uh, what to look forward to uh, for this first, like at least up till the holiday portion, uh, what I'm kind of planning. So as I said, we're gonna be focusing on island building uh, as kind of the primary concept to, to be working in. Uh, the reason, main reason that I kind of got into before is that it's really easy to trim chunks and hide chunk borders uh, because of being in on an island like all the chunk borders are underwater so it's super easy to hide and also doing an island type build is something new we've not done it at all in uh, the Bruin build series so might as well tackle it now because I like this build style and I think it's a uh, fitting for the island theme as well and speaking of this build style what is it and where did it come from well a while back I put out a poll on what exactly, if I were to do an island build, what exactly you guys would like to see? And I gave some options um, that were pulling inspiration from concepts of islands from Zelda the Wind Waker. Uh, and one of the islands was Windfall Island. Now, all of the islands that I listed on that poll will be built. Uh, but Windfall Island won the poll, and so that's what we are starting with. I've actually worked out a concept piece for this starting island that I will show when we get into a bit more of the build style. Um, this one, we, we've gotten into it, and we actually are going to be able to actually get further into it than I was planning initially. Um, but... I will bring out the concept piece maybe next episode or in two episodes or so when we start getting a bigger picture of what the island's gonna actually look like. And so some of you may be also kind of looking at what's going on in the time lapse and thinking what in the world type of style is that architecturally? Kind of mimicking, trying to mimic at least the cycladic architecture style with a Windfall Island twist. So think of it as Windfall Island with a cycladic twist. And so if you know anything about cycladic architecture, it's really known for like super stark white houses with really bright blue, bright blue trim. That's like just like super, super bright. And so I thought that would be a really fun style to, to tackle because we could then use the some of the new blocks in the build. And uh, I think it's going to look good. So that's all I've got for this time lapse. Uh, we are going to jump back in, got some adventuring and stuff to do. So let's go ahead and get on into that. All right, so there is our starter build. Now, I will say, this is not exactly how I want it uh, because we're using entirely diorite, as you can tell, and that's not what I want to do, but it is in the style. It is starting to get there. Um, I need to find more copper, uh, but... That's okay. You can also see lots of cows. Mm -hmm. Boy, howdy, you guys are loud. Um, so this is the style that we're going to go for, and it is actually called Cycladic, I believe is how you pronounce it. It is based off of at least the Cycladic villages uh, in villages, towns, whatever, in Greece. Uh, the very white with very prominent blue roofs. Now you may, may be thinking, uh, Pixel, the... Uh, the uh, accents you currently have on there have nothing to do with blue. Well, we're using copper because it's going to patina. And as you can see, already starting to patina. And eventually that green is going to be the primary color. Uh, the also really nice thing is we do have the ocean monument that is right over there that we are going to be able to make a farm for uh, to be able to get some nice Prismarine, which is going to work wonderfully. Actually, the Patina to Copper and Dark Prismarine are probably my favorite combination of like the teal colors. They look so good together and the patterns kind of match up well since they're all they're both kind of just squares and it's actually really, really cool. So this is uh, I haven't done any interior or anything uh, and we're missing key blocks to finish this off. Uh, and I wanted to show you some stuff. Uh, to as to how we're going to get those because I think it's it's fun. It's all about exploring this new update stuff. Um, but so we've got this. It's going to be just like a very simple interior. No door. We're going to use a banner uh, with a we're going to use a banner on this. Uh, this is tall enough to keep out any sort of zombie uh, creepers. Not so much, but we'll just make sure it's lit up well, as you can see. 
Uh, and so it's not going to be truly like safe, but yeah, that's OK. And then we're going to have like a downstairs area here, probably wall off a few sections uh, just to make it so it's like maybe a little kitchen area and then a little nook bedroom right here. I think that'll be really nice. Uh, and then there will be this little stairway here. Uh, and this is going to be just like a nice viewing area for the ocean. Like, look at that view. Isn't it pretty? Uh, and then maybe a little bit of storage stuff up on top. I'm not really sure. Look what I found down here. So this is my mine. You know, we had heard a zombie as we were up there earlier exploring around. So I dug down this area here and landed right into a mine shaft. So that's really, really cool. And I have been just exploring. There's a zombie somewhere nearby, but who knows where? I have been exploring around trying to figure out where to find some good stuff. Haven't explored all of it because it's a moderately big mine shaft. But if we go down here and to the left here, we will then find this. Isn't this absolutely magical? I, I wasn't recording when I first found it, but I do have to say well done to the Mojang team because this was actually super magical to to like run into just like this gaping hole of a sort of geode just walking around this corner and seeing this oh it was so nice and i was actually a wonderful thing to come across because we need this block right here this is calcite and this is the primary building block for our area this is what i want to get into using more and more of because it is a beautiful white block that i think is going to be a great replacement for our diorite speaking of new blocks let's go over to this shipwreck and see if we can land ourselves some moss now i don't know I don't know what the drop rates are on on moss being like found within a shipwreck. I just know that you can find moss in a shipwreck. Oh, there is a bee's nest over here. That's really good. Uh, what type of wood is this as well? Oh, good. There's spruce. Oh, the trap doors are actually really, really good. So I'm going to actually take all the trap doors because I need them for our build. We have planters that I would like to use spruce on. All right, so we've got our first chest here and let's see what's in it. Oh, moss. Wow. OK. Uh, oh, and potatoes. Oh, wow. That's uh, this is oh, and bamboo. OK. Wow, dude, this is a really, really good chest. That was a great chest. Look at all this crap that we just got. We don't have to go to a jungle. We found moss so we can get azalea stuff, I believe. And yeah, you're not you. You are <laughs> We got potatoes so we can grow those and curse of vanishing. So that's a wonderful and a free chest. Awesome. Is there another chest around here? All right. Does not look like it. Uh, one thing I do actually want to take and this is going to be purely temporary. Um, I want to take the jungle uh, things right here, uh, the jungle fences, because I would like to use them. Oh, that's actually really a, a cool thing that they use oak. And then the jungle ones are like either the accent ones or they're almost as if they're like mossy because of the water. That's actually really cool. I never really noticed that. Is this underwater one? Yeah, I think that's actually kind of what they were going for. That's actually super cool. A detail I did not really know about. <gasps> guys a freaking glow squid oh my gosh oh my oh oh dear look at that oh it is you know i did not vote for this guy but he's pretty magical look at him oh you're so cool i need to kill you because i want your ink sack oh my gosh we are finding so oh this is oh and they dropped three. Oh man this is a great this is a great day i super just i'm just so happy about finding a glow squid that was like the, one of the things i was like i don't think i'm gonna actually be able to see one today okay today is a good day oh so many must murder them you beautiful creatures and you know the nice thing is our island is just far enough away that if we built an entirely different style of town on that island, 
I don't think we'd really notice it. Uh, I think that we could turn the what is my render distance at currently? Yeah, we could turn it down. I normally play at like 14. And so if we turned it down to 14, why? Come on, we would we would be able to not see it at all. And that would actually be really cool because we could be here and not really see the neighboring town and be like right there, right super close. All right, so before I get ahead of myself and go and do some moss stuff, I want to explore this other shipwreck really quick and see what we can get from it. And I it's over here somewhere. Not exactly sure where. Uh, but it was definitely, is that it? Or is that a geode? That looks like another geode. Cool, okay. So, oh, there, and there's a the shipwreck. So we have a geode and a shipwreck right next to each other. Oh my, did we hit the mother load of stuff. Two moss blocks, paper, plenty of wheat, and more bamboo and carrots. We can breed everything that is on our island now. These two ships, probably the best thing that we could potentially try and get. Wow. Ah, uh, that is awesome. So we have two chests done and dusted. I think there's one more to do. Oh, man, this is great. Y'all, I kid you not, this is probably the best boat loot I could have asked for. I mean, look at this. I, in three boats. So there was one over there. That's one. There's one new one that's over there that I just saw. Oh, there it is right there. Um, and then the one over there. Th look at all the stuff that we got. We have two more moss blocks. So we have three total. We got carrots. We can breed our piggies. We got more bamboo, scaffolding, plenty of wheat. That doesn't really matter. But then two compasses, eight emeralds, lapis, iron, gold, meh, bottle of enchanting for, you know, the YOLOs of it. Or if we want to make like a, a enchanting shop or something. Two buried treasure maps, probably the identical ones, but you know what? Who cares? Plenty of chests. Oh, it's just, it's good. This and this are probably my two favorite things because now we have everything that we actually need. And that's really cool. We have potatoes, carrots, beetroot. We have like everything. Pumpkins, we're just missing melons. That's all we are missing is melons. Can you believe that? That's insane. Oh my. We just... Oh gosh. That... Very good. We just got diamonds, baby. And melon seeds. Oh my. We have everything. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we got diamonds through the chests, not actually through... Jeez, these zombies are loud. So we, we got diamonds. Not enough yet to make anything, but... Slowly but surely, we'll be able to get a diamond pick before you know it. Okie dokie, that's really cool. There's a lot of zombie sounds, so I think there may be a zombie spawner somewhere around here. I just, I just don't know quite where... I don't have the tools necessary to allow me to really figure it out. So I'm not gonna. Mm, but remember, there's a zombie spawner, at least down here, I think. Adventuring sidetracks aside, let's take a look-see at the final build, or at least moderately final build, because it's not totally done because I haven't run into all the materials quite yet, but we did run into more than I was actually expecting. So here is the beginning final build of this style, and I am super happy with how it's turning out. I think it's looking really cool. So I've actually AFK'd here in that little hole for probably nine hours to try and get this copper to fully patina. And you can see uh, it's going well in some places. Not so well in others, but you're starting What the? Oh, my gosh. Hello. Oh. I actually want the blue. What? I want it, but I don't want to trade you an emerald. 
All right, after we were so rudely interrupted. Um, so yeah, the copper patina ing does take a long, long time. Uh, the copper that's up here is actually patina ing pretty well. Uh, some things I've learned from just reading about copper patina stuff is the further away each piece is from the other pieces of copper, the faster it will actually patina. So if you're setting up a copper patina ing farm type thing, uh, you need to place one block of copper and then space it out by four so this is where the next piece would go and it would need to be like in a sort of grid pattern that is like really spread out um in order for it to actually work so uh, this one's gonna just take a long time and eventually i will set up a sort of copper patina farm and or i also may just let it patina on its own uh because i don't know i think it looks Looks kind of cool as it does patina. But this is the final stage of what a patinaed stair, copper stair looks like. I love it. I think it looks great. You can say I've also incorporated the calcite in place of a lot of the diorite. I think it looks really nice. It's a nice smooth block. It goes really well with our uh, smooth, our polished diorite texture. Really, really a big fan of that. Um, and added some of this uh, glow lichen on the sides here and put some of the new azalea, flowering azalea bush alongside the regular azalea bush. And I think it's looking great. So I obviously have still quite a bit of work to do on the landscape and stuff, but this episode is definitely going way longer than I was intending it to. But this is a really good idea as to what we are going to be doing tomorrow's build slash or not tomorrow's build but the build i'm doing tomorrow but the build that we will be doing next will be going roughly around here uh, and that will either be next episode or in two episodes i'm not really sure exactly i want to do some more exploring around uh, to try and get some xp and also just explore the world get some resources and stuff so looking forward to that I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope you guys are excited for Bruin Build to be back and for us to get our booties into gear building and also working on textures and stuff again. I love it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, leave a like on the video. That would be absolutely beautiful of you. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.